Hello there everyone, welcome to another great video game ideas not used video, GVGINU for short. As always, I'm Andre and it is a pleasure to share my thoughts with you. So, um, <clears throat> one of the guys I'm subscribed to named Wingy Gaming put out a video today. He was really asking two questions though, the title only really asked one. Um, what, one, what console affected you most? Two, what was your favorite game console? And this is for people growing up. I mean, I uh, guess I'm considered kind of old as far as gaming is concerned because, like I've always said, I've been playing games for 25 years now. So I, I'm kind of old in that aspect. And we're on the eighth generation, so I got my start in gaming during the third with the NES and Mega Man. NES and Mega Man. Actually, my first game was Excite Bike, but NES and Mega Man were what kind of pulled me more into gaming um, but the consoles that affected me most because it's, it's two of them and they they were equally as impactful on my youth and that was yeah you can hear my daughter she's drinking one of her bottles of juice and <laughs> kind of coughing <laughs> you okay little girl yeah she just gave me a smile okay um the Sega Genesis, which is called the Mega Drive in other regions over here, it didn't get to be called the Mega Drive due to something with copyrights or trademarks or something. Um, and the Super Nintendo, yes and yes. I loved and enjoyed both of those consoles greatly, and I still do love and enjoy them. And I have pretty much all of the games that I had for them back then still now. I mean, I can't say I have all of them because... At the time, I really wasn't in control of what consoles I had and what games I had. That was just how it was. I mean, I was kind of young back then. So if something got traded in and I didn't agree with it, I really didn't have much of a say. Went back and got a lot of stuff, though. My, my Genesis library is, pr is pretty big compared to my Super Nintendo library, but I'm, I'm going to fix that. But, um... But I also had a lot of friends who had SNESs back then too, and we would trade off games. Whereas not as many people I knew back then had Genesis. I was pretty much one of the only, well, I was like one of maybe like four or five people I knew that had a Genesis. Whereas everybody else had the Super Nintendo. So, <laughs> so I spent a lot of time trading games back and forth with people, beating them and giving trading them back. But uh, that's beside the point. Um, those two ga those two consoles had a big impact on my life because I I was able to really enjoy them with my friends a lot. Like we would go over to each other's houses and play them and be back and forth and it's just it was fun. We would either if one person didn't have a game, we'd bring it over to their house and play it. And if I mean it just, it was just it was very enjoyable for me as a kid. Knowing that I had, I could actually go back and forth and play all these different games, this vast majority of games, and they they weren't clones necessarily. If one one console got one version of the game, the other console got the other version. I mean, and sometimes this worked to their advantage. Sometimes it worked to a disadvantage. Just like the game, the Avengers, the Super Nintendo, while it had all of the the cut the cut cards and everything that popped up during play. The Genesis version of the game actually played more like the arcade and felt like the arcade game. Super Nintendo one is frustrating as all heck because you hit an enemy and they blink forever. <laughs> it's like they, 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 I don't know what went wrong with that, but that's how it is. Genesis version doesn't have that problem. But uh, take another game like Sunset Riders, and I'm sorry, Genesis got gypped on that game. Sunset Riders on Super Nintendo is way better than it is on the Sega Genesis by far I, I, I'm no bull and then we had games like Turrican like Turrican which I think started on the NES if I remember correctly then we had Super Turrican Turrican which was on the SNES and Mega Turrican which ended up on the Sega Genesis amazing games and they were fun and I enjoyed them <clears throat> and then there were also the exclusives but I'm not going to jump into all of that um but my favorite console, favorite console is the Sega Saturn, and here is why. It has a lot of games. Sadly, in the U.S. market, we didn't get as many of the games as we probably should have because Sega of America was a stubborn ass. 
sorry to put it that way, but that's how they work. They didn't want to take the time to bring over all those great arcade perfect ports of games that came out simply because they just didn't feel like doing it. And then that was where Sony took off over here because Sony, even though they had a watered down generic version of half of those games, they were here for people to buy. Whereas the Saturn owners had to import them. And, and I had to thank my older brother for that because he imported a lot of games, a lot of games that I would not have been able to play because at the time I was still young, didn't have an income of my own, wouldn't have been able to buy them. Um, sorry, little girl, you can't put that in your mouth. Sorry, she was toy. So, But um, generally, that's how I feel. I mean, if, if a lot of the, the games that came out for Sega Saturn actually came over here Saturn had a much better fighting chance against Sony PlayStation back then and I'm sorry uh, I would rather play the Japanese version of Symphony of the Night simply because there's more to it there's a lot more to it like yes there's slowdowns oh gosh little girl stop that there's slowdowns on it because the game was not optimized for the console they literally ported the engine from the PlayStation right over to the Saturn which screwed up quite a few of the effects. Now, had they taken time to use both cores of the Saturn, I mean, both processors of the Saturn, the 2D processor and the 3D processor, and properly made the game instead of stretching the screen, rather just open the screen further, that game would have been way better. Way better than it was. And it was amazing as it was, even though it was a crappy port. And also, um, Marvel, uh, Super Mar ah, sorry, got some time. X Men vs. Street Fighter, Japanese version, arcade perfect port. Way better than the PlayStation one. I'm sorry, I don't want to have to pick the same character as you for us to have a two on two character battle. Same thing with Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Wasn't happening. Plus, Sega Saturn had all the animations. As long as you had the RAM card, and I had the RAM card because. Well, I had the action replay RAM card, which also had the cheats and stuff on it, so I could play the Japanese games. But it also gave the additional memory that allowed for the fluid animations that were not possible on the PlayStation. Not not dog and PlayStation. I'm just saying, if you were comparing the two, that's what it was. Oh, sorry, I played those games on Sony, and they were the animations are choppy, so choppy. <laughs> I like the, the smooth animations. <laughs> And, 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 and it's just, just because Sony didn't have a strong 2D console. Theirs was basically for 3D. And, and it did, in the majority of games, do 3D better than Saturn. But that doesn't mean Saturn had bad 3D games. Look at uh, Panzer, Panzer Dragoon. Um, Virtual On. Uh, shoot. I'm trying to think of a few others. Um, I think actually Alone in the Dark might have been on Saturn. I don't remember though. I have the 3DO copy, so I don't really remember. Um, <clears throat> which I, I really wish I had a 3DO again <laughs> so I could actually play it. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Resident Evil wasn't so bad on Saturn. I just think people didn't really get down with the button setup. Which I feel like, yeah, the PlayStation probably did have a better button, a, a better physical button setup for that game, but that was about it. Um, <clears throat> That's a lot of stuff I'm trying to think about. Um, even outside of 3D, like Saturn had majority of the 2D games. Think of a uh, Mega Man 8. Much better on the Sega Saturn than it was on the PlayStation. And oh gosh, Tingle Man's song on the PlayStation is annoying to me. I can't, this song drives me nuts. I'd rather hear it. I'm sorry. Saturn got the better version of that game overall. They had additional content that was not on the PlayStations. And on top of that, it, I'm sorry, that song alone is enough reason to say go get the Sega Saturn version of that game over the PS1 version of it. Um, <clears throat> man, I'm sitting here trying not to try to like bash the PlayStation because I love the PlayStation as well, but I'm sorry, Saturn took the cake for me during the fifth generation of gaming. It was the better one. And honestly, if I was going to pick, put them in order, it would be Saturn, N64, and PS1 because that was the order 
of where I found the most enjoyable games. But <clears throat> I think I've gone on enough about how much I think the Saturn's better than everything else as far as that generation of gaming. Um, it's still my favorite console. I still have mine, and I actually have all of my games for it. Not one of them missing, which is amazing, because I didn't originally own them. They got passed to me, for the most part, from my brother. I mean, I'm still going back and trying to collect a few of them, but um, it's expensive, because now people actually know the value of those games, and I can't go and just get them for the cheap like I used to be able to. <sighs> kind of sucks. But I still have a working Sega Saturn model. It's a Model 2. I originally had a Model 1, but that literally just died on me and it wouldn't play it wouldn't turn on because i gamed on it so much i played on it so much that it actually burnt out <laughs> so i had to get a model two because i went to go get it fixed and i got a, ended up with a model two because they couldn't fix it but um, <laughs> i still have the saturn and i have all of my controllers though i probably might need to buy some other ones because i think they don't work anymore at least not all of them. I think like three of my controllers work. I had like maybe eight or nine controllers. I know my Saturn stunners still work because I, I recently played House of the Dead with them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've gone on long enough. So consoles that had the most impact on me, Sega Genesis and the SNES. My favorite all over, all around, Sega Saturn, hands down. You can say what you want about it. If those games would have came out over here, plenty of people would have been willing to get the Sega Saturn over the PlayStation 1, especially after looking at the games and saying, well, in this game, I can do this on this console, but in that console, I can't do it, and this is the same price. The games are the same price. Well, I would have spent a few extra bucks to get the Saturn over the PlayStation at that point. But that was just me. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people probably would have been like, well, I can still get the same game and it's cheaper to buy this console, but you know, that's that's not how I am as a gamer. <clears throat> so, thank you for listening to my random randomness, I guess, and <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. And I finally cut my hair and shaved, so I don't look like a wildebeest anymore. But the beard will come back. It will come back. It will make a massive comeback. It's just, it's hot now. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games.